In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to read a string that you get from the serial communication on your Arduino board. So the first step is to initialize serial communication. So we are going to use the serial library, as you can see, serial should turn orange dot begin. And let's choose a common board write 9600. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the timeout of the serial. So set timeout. So the default timeout is 1000 milliseconds. So this is in milliseconds. So this is one second, which means that when you use the read string function that we're going to write uh, just after that, well, your Arduino program will be stuck for one complete second to make sure that uh, you have received all the data, all right? But in our example, it's going to work if we just put 10 milliseconds. So the reading timeout will be 10 milliseconds here. So, okay, that's it for the initialization. Now in the void loop, so I'm going to put that in the void loop, I'm going to do if serial.available. So don't forget the parentheses here is greater, strictly greater than zero. So serial.available will simply tell you if there is something to read on the serial. Basically, this will give you the number of bytes that have been received by the Arduino. So if the number of bytes that have been received is strictly greater than zero, well, we can read the string, okay? We are not going to read the string if we don't have received anything. So that's how you are going to write your code. First, if serial.available is greater than zero. So then you can read the string. So let's put it inside a string uh, object here. Let's name it str. And you can do serial dot and then read string so once you have received some data from serial well with the read string function it will automatically read the data and convert it into a string object here and it will wait with a timeout of maximum 10 milliseconds because we have set it there and now well you have the string in your code what you can do is just create a very simple echo program. So we are going to print back the string, okay? So what we can do is serial.println with astia. So whenever we receive a string, we also send it back. So we can make sure that we have received the correct string, okay? So now what I can do is just upload the code to the Arduino, make sure that, so let's name it read, uh, string make sure you have connected your arduino board okay and if i open the serial monitor well nothing uh, happens for now and then i'm just going to send hello arduino and you can see hello arduino so i can send any text okay and you can see we receive the text so the text is received here in the program, it is read with the read string and then it is printed again with print ln. Great. So now let's just improve a little bit this code uh, to ask for the username, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replace the name here, name it name. Uh, as you can see, this turns orange. So if this turns orange, usually it's the best practice to just change it's just in case you are creating a conflict between different names. So just name it username. And then what we can do is say print with your name is and then serial.println with the user name. And we can ask a question. What is your name? So to ask the question, what we can do is put it uh, in the setup here, serial.println, what is your name? So first we print the question, what is your name? And then we keep waiting for data. Once we have received some data, we read the username from the serial uh, communication with read string, and then we print the username. And maybe after that, what we can do is do serial.println and just repeat the question okay so we can continue an infinite number of time all right let's try this program
So I open Cyan Monitor. What is your name? Let's say John. Your name is John. What is your name? And then you can just change to any name. And you will have the question every time. All right, so as you can see, the read string uh, function is quite convenient to use. You can just read any string you get from the Sial communication. And now that you have correctly uh, read the string, what you do with it is up to you and up to your application. For example, you could uh, create an if structure, okay, a condition to check for different values. Okay, if you send that string, you are going to do that action. If you send this string, you are going to do this action, etc. You can also, if you have, for example, an LCD screen, you can print the result on the LCD screen. Well, there are actually many ways to use the string in your program. So to recap, first you have, of course, to initialize Sial communication with Sial.begin with a baud rate. And then you can set a timeout that is uh, less than 1000 milliseconds. This you might have to test, okay? If you find out that you can't receive all the string that you send, then you might increase that timeout, okay? And then you check for data that you received over serial, and then you can read with read string. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.